Chapter minus 13.31 A Trip to the Noesis by Frank Now, said Jax, looking at me, how's Minnow? She looked fairly shaken. She's over there congratulating darling, I said. But yeah, she's upset. Jax looked sad. There are some things about Invictus that need sorting out, but please do try and trust me. Of course, I said. Jax smiled. We're going to take you out into the Noesis tomorrow, she said. You all need the basic lessons you didn't get last time you were here. The ones you missed out on because of all the urgency. Solo grinned. Sky seems to be a natural, he said. She is, said Jax, but even a natural can fall into danger if she's not prepared. Solo nodded. Definitely, he said. Escher nearly died out there once. Me too. That was before I really died and then came back. Solo looked as if he would like to tell me all about it, but Jack sat up very straight and said, Not tonight. Your story needs a lot of time, and no one's ever quite ready for the shock of it. Solo nodded. Absolutely, he said. Another time. I sighed. Any time, I said, badly wanting to know how Solo had died and then returned to the land of the living. Solo grinned. At the right time, he added. Ben, Sky, and Minnow joined us with big plates of dessert. These are from Darling, said Minnow. They're for all of us. Solo's eyes lit up and he grabbed a spoon. Salted caramel, he said, my absolute favourite. Darling said you'd like it, said Ben. She was right. We're going into the Noesis tomorrow, I said. We won't make you do the beginner's course, said Jax, but it's important that you learn some key things. Sky laughed. Yes, she said. We were thrown into the deep end last time. Jax smiled. You did brilliantly, she said, but for future reference, it's good to know the basics. Definitely, said Minnow. After today, I don't mind going right back to beginners. Jax gave her a hug and whispered, you're doing exceptionally well. Minnow beamed at her, glad to be singled out. Chapter minus 13, Magic Fruit by Frank. When we were all back in our treehouse, I told Ben, Sky, and Minnow what Solo had told me about the convict. Sky looked frightened. Perhaps he's a spy. Are the thieves still in prison? asked Minnow. As far as I know, I said. They wouldn't release them, said Ben. Sky shook her head. Surely not, she said. But if the convict's dad has influence, maybe he will. Solo said the convict's dad has disowned Isla, I replied. We all sat thinking. I don't like Invictus, said Minnow with a frown. There's something about him. He's pretty full of himself, said Ben. He's out and out arrogant, said Minnow. Solo said to steer clear of him, I said, so let's just do that. The following morning, we headed towards the cliffs to meet Jax and Blizzard. When we reached the magic garden, I asked, should we take some magic fruit? Last time we had strawberries for luck, said Ben. Might as well, said Skye. What harm can it do? We all ate a few strawberries and then knelt down to collect some for Blizzard and Jax. What are you doing? asked someone in a gruff voice. It was Invictus, looking down at us. We all stood up and stared at him. Minnow blushed and I could see that she felt embarrassed. They're not just here for anyone to take, said Invictus. No, they're not, said another voice. Coming around the corner was the gardener. I'd met him on our first visit. He was a human being with, a, with the head of a kangaroo. I'm Ku, the humo Roo, he said, pronouncing it hum o -roo. Good to see you, I said. This is my cousin, Minnow, and our friends, Sky and Ben. Ku nodded, his brown eyes looking so kind. Frank, he said, I remember you. Welcome back. Are you getting some strawberries for luck? Yes, I said. So what's the problem, asked Ku. They were helping themselves, said Invictus with a frown. We're going into the Noesis, said Minnow, looking fierce, and we thought we should have luck because we're not very experienced. Ku nodded. Of course.
course you need luck, he said. Generally, you come and see me first because I'm the gardener and I know which fruit will be best and most wonderfully full of luck. But if you're not greedy, then by all means, help yourselves. Look how much they're taking, said Invictus, still trying to make things difficult. It's for Blizzard and Jack, said Minnow, looking defiant, and they might have some, someone else with them. We're sorry, Mr Koo, I said. Next time we'll definitely ask. Most normal people would, muttered Invictus. No harm, no harm, said Koo, and I'm not Mr Koo. I'm actually Professor Koo, but you may simply call me Koo. Invictus rolled his eyes. Master Invictus, are you going into the Noesis as well? asked Koo. No, said Invictus, I'm more skilled than this lot. I can see that, said Koo, with a sparkle in his eyes. I can definitely see that. Koo gave me a wry look.